Okay, there's no coolant at all. Oh, there you go. There's the coolant. Okay, we're just gonna have to uh, start up the engine again. Get that pressurized and then uh, crack this thing open again. Alright guys, we'll do coolant on this. We'll fill her up. Got the funnel right there. I got this Dex Cool 50-50. She's ready to go. So I'm just gonna top it off a little bit. See how the reservoir here is full. Just wait till uh, all the bubbles coming out from the rad to the hose and then we're gonna bleed this thing out. While we're waiting, we can start the engine. All right, we're doing good. All right, we're gonna bleed the coolant. Uh, there's a little um, port over here that we need to crack it open so that escape all the air and bubbles out. That little plastic drain port right there, we're gonna crack that open and then we're gonna see all the coolant coming out mixed with air and bubbles. All right guys, so I was gonna use a 13 millimeter socket on this one. Yeah, I'll get you guys a better picture here, the area. Turn up the engine because it's so loud and shaky. I'm gonna take, this is the drain right here that we need to take out. Just see how mixed with it, bubbles right there. Make sure you get those drain out. I'm just gonna have to uh, start up the engine again. Get that pressurized and then uh, crack this thing open again. You can see guys, no engine lights on. Everything is working good. Just need a couple more minutes. About 10 minutes to uh, bleed the coolant out. But as you can see, the dash is clean. No lights, ABS, engine, airbag. She's clean. All right, back on a draining coolant here. Look, it looks like it's still warm, the, the coolant, but there's no more air coming out. It looks like it's clean. No bubbles. We're just gonna tight her up and then go for a drive. And then we're gonna use our scan tool to monitor the Fahrenheit coolant temp while we're driving and uh, keep an eye on the gauge. So it's been running for about uh, 10 minutes and this is the temperature we got. It's just under half. That would be 181 Fahrenheit. So let's go for a drive, see how this thing acts. Right, reverse, let's go. Well, ABS light came on. Well, so far so good guys, except the stabler track light came on and I've been driving for about uh, 15 minutes now, going around the block. But as you can see, the temperature is not that bad. And then uh, on my scan tool here, it's been 222 Fahrenheit. So, so far so good. Temperature is there just below half driving this car it feels like uh, it's gonna pull apart <laughs> this thing needs like a suspension or something that bolt joint uh, definitely need brakes um, the brake pedal is uh, pulsing this is a chick's car so you can tell it's just messy back there Wow 
got all that stuff anyways yeah uh, concern a lot of concern definitely let the dad know what's going on in this vehicle before I give it away but so far so good guys the timing job is done confirm is fixed thanks for watching see you again on our next video <laughs>